All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to get all of the different journals inside of the Shrine of Hungering from Sea of Thieves. If you're unfamiliar with the Shrine of Hungering or you haven't been here before, and this is your first experience, it's going to be a very shark-centric shrine. You're going to be going to Shark Flavor Town. So make sure that you have all of the different weapons and equipment that you want, and then when you arrive, the entrance will be denoted by your typical swirling blue light on the surface, and then you just have to swim down to the shrine itself. This shrine is a very tall spire, so you'll be doing a couple of puzzles inside of it, but most of what you're going to be worried about is actually fighting, uh, I want to say, three major rooms full of sharks and two areas with a couple of skeletons. The entrance itself isn't your typical front door to the spire that, you know, if you walk up to the front, you kind of look what might be a door, but it's actually just a bunch of rock carvings. What you're looking for is at the base of these glowing corals here is a skeletal set of ribs that leads you to a cave that have one to two sharks inside of it that you'll have to dispatch, and that is the main entrance to the shrine. Um, some things that might be useful to you as you do this shrine is I like to bring a one of the uh, the tridents of the dark tides that shoots little bubble blasts at things. Those are very useful for dispatching PvE enemies. I recommend bringing one of those. Sometimes you get one as a piece of loot as you do this particular shrine, but not always. And uh, I forgot to bring the usual amount of supplies with me, so I was kind of foraging through a couple of different barrels while I was down here. So as I round the corner inside of this cave, the first journal will be just on our right, just inside of here, but we have to kill a couple of sharks as we round this corner next to this box of ammo. So go ahead and the moment you see them, start blasting so that you can shoot them, before they come over and decide to make a meal out of you, because when a shark bites you, it does a little bit more than half of your health, and if they bite you twice, you're as good as dead. And nobody wants to spend more time uh, dead than you absolutely have to. So down here, where you fight the first set of sharks, kind of next to this geyser here, this oxygen geyser in the middle of the room, at the very bottom, you will see a set of skeletons, and one of them is reaching for the first journal, so if you swim down here, you can read that. And then the next set of sharks that you're going to have to deal with is just on the other side of this tunnel right here. I always encounter at least two of them. Sometimes you maybe might get up to three to four of them. It's just kind of random and it doesn't seem to matter if you're in a large crew or if you're solo slooping like I'm doing right now. So in here, you should see, up oh, there's the first one. The first shark pops in. If you're really quick to back up and pop a few shots inside of them, they should die without being able to bite you. It looks like this time around, I only ended up having to deal with one. But I'm used to having to deal with at least two in every single one of these rooms. That should be the only thing you have to worry about in this room. The next thing you're going to have to do is activate a brief little puzzle. All the puzzles are just kind of written up on the room. Put the statues in the correct alignment. The statue holding the chain is down in this case. And the gemstone statue is in the middle position with the coral being in the upward position. And then after you've gotten each one of these statues by smacking them, having their arm in the correct position, you just shoot the mermaid statue with the trumpet. Now I'm going to be dragging this particular trident with me for essentially the rest of this shrine because this is going to make the last room not a complete annoying nightmare. Because the last room has got upwards of six sharks clustered together and this makes it so that you only have to blast them once or twice and then they are dead. So once the water in this room is lifted up, it will open up a geyser that you can hop onto and that will shoot you up to the second puzzle. This is the last puzzle inside of this shrine. But before you do it, there is actually a journal here in the broken rowboat. Next to the ammo box, go ahead and give that a read, and that is journal number two. Pretty much all of these journals should be numbered, so if you miss one of them, 
you can easily backtrack and find which part of this tutorial has them in it. So just give these statues a couple smacks. You can see what the puzzle uh, solution is over there on the wall. And then once you're done, it will raise the water level when you shoot the trumpeting statue up so that you can progress to the next section. After that, some more sharks should spawn. You can pretty much just ignore the, the sharks in this room after you're done with this puzzle. But there will also be a set of skeletons that spawn in the next area. So if you have a trident, give them a shot with that to get rid of them real quick. Otherwise, just use whatever weapons you have on you. I also like to just blow up those sharks because that's just fun. So why not? So once the water levels up, like I said, just give these skeletons a couple of shots to get rid of them. And then you'll just have to go up that ramp to your left and up a spinal column and a ship's mast in order to get to the third journal. So here's the spinal column. And then if you take a little right up here, I'm just double checking to see if there's any loot or hiding around hidden here. You go right up this mast here, next to this geyser coming out of the wall. In this mess of debris over here is journal number three. It'll be right here underneath of that window, and you'll know because it's right next to this vent that shoots a jet of water out of the wall. Most of these shouldn't be too hard to see, although number four is kind of in a funny location. You'll have to do a little bit of a jumping puzzle across these rib cages coming out of the wall. I'm first going to go ahead and just dispatch these skeletons real fast. There should only be like two or three that spawn on this little platform. That jaw area over there with that bubble door is the way to the final room inside of this shrine. So the fourth journal is here in the grass, like the kelpie grass at the base of this siren statue. It's over here next to the glowing blue coral. Give that a quick read. Um, a lot of loot tends to spawn over here, so I hope you're good at jumping puzzles because you're going to have to jump back and forth quite a few times in order to grab all of it. And you can fall far enough from these rib cages to kill your character, so just be careful. Then once you've got all of that loot, just shoot the bubble door inside the maw of this giant dead shark. Grab your trident, and in this final room, you can run into upwards of six different sharks. So that makes this room kind of obnoxious, which is why I like to make sure either to bring a trident with me or to find one inside of the shrine because it makes this room a heck of a lot quicker. You can clear it out in two shots instead of having to go back and forth with your pistol, shooting them over and over again. Now, the final journal is actually in a kind of a, a confusing spot. It's actually in this doorway into this room at the very base of it. There's a skeleton reaching for the exit and it points at the final book. So that's where all the journal locations are at. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for this particular shrine. There's nothing else hiding in here. Although when you want to do the quest for the curse, the underwater ocean curse, you will end up having to come back to this shrine but I will cover that mission in a separate tutorial later. And then once you've got all of your loot, just teleport back to the surface, go chat with the mermaid, and load it all up back onto your ship, and you should be good to go. I like to do the Shrine of Hungering because almost no one goes in there, and it always seems to have at least 14 pieces of loot that you can grab, sometimes even more than 20. So it's a very lucrative shrine to go to, especially if you're farming Order of Souls reputation, because there's always a lot of gems and always a lot of skulls. That'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.